hello guys i'm going to teach you how you can make money or how you can trade your amazon gift card on paxful okay if you are new to paxful paxful is a p2p exchange site where you can buy bitcoin with all sort of payment method okay you can buy bitcoin with gift card you can buy with paypal funds and a lot a lot of options are there for you but today we'll be considering the option of amazon gift card okay this amazon gift card is like a uh, money okay there's money in the card so this card is being sold by amazon so if you get your hands on it you can and you don't want to spend it okay you don't want to go to store and spend it or buy something with it you can convert it to bitcoin and keep your bitcoin or trade your bitcoin whichever way you want to put it so i'm going to teach you all of that in this video and first thing you need to do is create an account on paxful okay it must be a verified account if your account is not verified then you might run risk of trading with uh traders that are uh, yeah, buyers or traders that have lower reputation because those that are fully verified will not want to trade with you that is not verified because they don't want to buy substandard a card or a card that doesn't have good history and get themselves into trouble now that being said if you want to create a, a fully verified paxful account i created a video on it i'm going to drop the link in the description below and i'm so i'm also going to drop the link to paxful where you can click and register straight away and to be straightforward now there are a lot of links out there that can get you into trouble or get your accounts hacked if you have the right link use it if you don't then i'm going to give you that link the link is going to be in the uh, description section below and also in the comment section below click on it and create your account right away and also watch the other video to know how you can fully verify your account and get it up running so i believe that at this point you have an account and it is verified already okay so let's move ahead i have my account right here i've been using paxful for over two years okay over two years on paxful so i know a bit about the disadvantage and the advantages okay now let's talk on the advantage of selling your card on paxful first thing is you get bitcoin okay and that is valuable that is the future of money right that is valuable so if you have your amazon gift card uh, on ground and you want to sell the uh, first thing is you hit paxful up and you can see there's a buy button right here right this is a buy button if you click on it you see what you can buy so you can buy bitcoin you can buy usdt you can buy ethereum okay whichever of the three so i want to buy bitcoin personally so i want to buy bitcoin right now bitcoin is selling for 33,705. now there's a, a little disadvantage let's talk of the disadvantage before we move ahead with the card or uh, redemption or loading the disadvantage is when you have bitcoin on Paxful, and you want to send it out paxful takes like five dollars or even more on the fees okay that's that's way high the reason is the blockchain are quite different only if you want to send from paxful to paxful account then it will be easy and no one no one has that time to keep looking for uh buyers who will give them paxful wallets because most buyer will not even give you paxful wallets if you don't have much wallet in because they'll be the one to face the charges later so they do rather want you to send it out of paxful to them on other platforms okay on other blockchains so that is one of the disadvantage with paxful and the second disadvantage is on paxful when there's an issue of card being bad or that and you uh dispute the the trade and a moderator comes in you must still not win the case okay now i've never seen a case where i won i've never seen one i think they, they kind of uh, do favoritism so the buyers have high chances of winning the case than you the sellers they have high chances like 90 percent chance of winning the case so and i think that is not too fair enough so those are the disadvantages you face with paxful okay so if you want to trade your gift card i buy a gift card as well okay I run slow exchange and I buy a gift card and Bitcoin and all funds and I pay out immediately. Another another disadvantage with Paxful is once you load your card, you might have to look for buyer before you can get your money. And that's like a bit of a drag or a delay. But if you trade with me, you get your money immediately. Your card is confirmed within 10 15 minutes you get your money in your account okay i've been doing this for three years that that's a little advert okay now not to 
uh, persuade you away from Paxful, but if you want something more quicker, more reliable, and offers better rates, then you can consider the option. You can reach out to me to know what my rates are. Now, let's continue with our video. So, we want to buy Bitcoin here. It is stated at Bitcoin. Okay, that's what we want to buy. Now, we need to check our payment method. What do we want to pay with? There's a lot of things you can pay with right here. Okay. If you click on show or you will see a lot of things but here we want to pay with amazon card now if you don't see this amazon gift card right here you can just type amazon on the search bar up here just amazon i'm going to bring out amazon cash amazon gift card amazon wish list only the amazon gift card that's what we want to use so you click on it once you click on it you enter the face value of your card okay here are the face value this is 10 25 50 100 okay i'm just going to enter 100 yeah so i'll enter 100 then next thing you need to enter the the currency of the card is it us dollar is it canadian dollars is it euro is it pounds whichever currency it is you have to enter it so you choose currency and you type usd if it's for us dollars then you click on us dollars on the list then you, you click on find offer okay you click on find offer so let's find offer and see what is available for us now there are some tricks to it okay because what this guy is bringing out is offer location nigeria so once it brings out this offer you need to come here to the offer location and change it to worldwide okay because you want to trade with anybody at all okay when you put it to nigeria alone it's going to limit you to those you can see uh, and the rate might not be too favorable okay right here on the first one this guy has 243 thumbs up okay so that is number of positive positive thumbs up he had so although he would have traded more than that some will give him thumbs down some will give him thumbs up and some will not rate at all okay yeah it's very possible so what is the rate at which this guy is buying so it says get on dollar 0.84 so for one dollar you are giving this guy you are getting 0.84 dollar that is four cents of bitcoin okay so it's making approximately about 16 cents on each of one dollar okay because you are going to sell it for a discount of course you can't get the actual amount okay because it's a gift card not a uh, real cash so this is 84 cents and what are the requirements of this guy this guy said the limit is taken is from 25 dollars to 100 dollars so it must not be lower than 25 dollars it must not be higher than 100 dollars that is one the next thing is he said receipt required then you must provide the receipt of the card okay the receipt of the card you must provide it then it says physical card only what does this mean that the card must be physical not card you bought online that it's sent to your email now it could be bought physically and the picture is sent to your email that is quite different from the one you buy on amazon site online and the code is delivered to your email that is an e-code it doesn't want that then the next thing is cash only what does this mean it means the card must be bought with cash not a credit card not a debit card okay that will be uh that will be uh showed on the receipt if you have the receipt with you it's going to state what mode of payment they use in buying the card so this guy wants only cash so if you take your cash to the store and buy the, uh, the card this guy wants it okay now the reason for this is because of chargeback i think a lot of chargeback happen when they use debit card or credit card and get denied okay so let's just assume that we have all of this uh required okay now if you don't have it then you have to, you have to keep on scrolling down to the one that says receipt no, no receipt required okay no receipt required that is what you'll be looking for you keep on scrolling down and look for those that says no receipts required once you find those one then you can uh click on it and and trade with them okay no receipt required or if you have an e-code you must look for e-code so for example you can see offer tags here you can check on offer tags this cash only you can click on it e-code accepted you can click on it so all this way it's uh, pretty simple for you to navigate through the chart and filter it instead of just scrolling down and down okay so that be said we are going to trade with this first person here i'm going to click on buy buy bitcoin okay i'll click on buy bitcoin it's going to load an interface and we are going to start trading that way okay so it says buy bitcoin with amazon gift card for us dollars fast release okay so here as well 
I don't know. It's offer is not active anymore. Please browse other offers for Amazon gift card. Okay, that first offer is no longer active. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Okay, so I'm going to restart the process, but I'm going to make it fast this time around. Okay, Amazon gift card. So we are, we are on the home page now. So this guy is trading for 0 0.79. So the rate has dropped a bit, and the lowest guys take is from 50 to 500. It has to be friends and family, fast, honest. Okay, let's click on it. Let's click on it. Okay, so if we trade hundred dollars with this guy, we are going to get seventy nine point three six dollars. Now it might not be up to that because Pash is going to take some fees from it. Okay, so let's click on sell now. This is going to open an interface with between me and the buyer. Okay, so this is the rule for the buyer. It says has been used i will not release btc to you if your card has been used please tell me the card face value such as 20 50 100 we do not accept e-codes please contact me before you send send clear steam physical card picture to me i'll use it immediately now uh this team is uh it's not a business because this is for uh, amazon and you click on the right trade so, so you can just read through the the trade terms and be sure that you like it then the first thing you want to do with this guy is say hi Now, personally, I don't trade on Paxful, okay? I don't trade my gift card on Paxful. But people that are starting up still wanted to lend it, so that is why I'm teaching it, okay? I have uh, vendors I sell to directly on my phone. Vendors that I trusted I've been using for three years. I had 20 cards. No, no, no. I don't do that. So I said, hi, this guy said, hi, bro. So I'll just say Amazon gift card $100, okay? So that is the face value of the card i've stated is now the next thing is going to ask for his receipt okay so if i have the receipt i'm going to send it to him after that he can request for the card i will send him the card then i'm going to click on something it's very very important if you are uh, watching this video closely it's very important you click on paid click on paid okay once you send the card you click on pay so this is going to lock the charts for 30 minutes for him to release the coins okay so it doesn't just go away with your card. It's very important. Learn to click this after you upload your card. So he said, can you accept Naira payments? If you can, I'll give you a good price. I'm absolutely honest. God, God will kill the liar and his family. Now, this is absolutely unprofessional. You don't know this guy. If you exchange your number with him, that is how people get scammed, okay? So I'll just tell him uh, this should be okay so basically all you have to do is click on this attachment button here okay once you click on the attachment button you'll be able to get your files probably from your phone or your pc so if you are using the mobile app or you are using the the, web, the mobile website yeah this is going to take you directly to your files on your phone so you can upload the receipt and further upload the card okay so you just select the image and all okay let's say we just upload this so you click on upload that's where it's going to get the picture and it will take him time maximum of 30 minutes and your your coins will be released to your wallet okay and once your coins released to your wallet you are going to see it in your balance okay it's as simple as that so that is how you trade if you want to trade with me feel free to contact me Thank you.